Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Fort Worth, Texas and I'm visiting the Fort Worth Zoo. Now I've heard lots of good things about this place. I was supposed to go yesterday but rain changed those plans. So my ticket that I purchased for $16 yesterday was basically unusable as they do not issue rain checks or let you cancel. But good news is well, my ticket today was only $8. Now they still require reservations, advanced ticket purchase. That has to be done on their website. It's timed entry even though it seemed like most everybody was here at opening. But it is what it is. Face masks are only required if you are not uh, vaccinated against uh, COVID. But I always carry my face mask with me as I am fully vaccinated. Only time that I would wear it is when there is no way to socially distance if there's so many people. So as you can see, I got my hat. Hat was $23, which is about average on what my hats usually cost. There is a $5 parking fee to get in. You were given a receipt. You're supposed to put that on your car and you hand it in when you are leaving. That's how they keep track of how many cars are in here. So let's get started and hopefully we're gonna be able to see lots of animals. We'll see. All right, just path right past the entry point. Right, directly past the bridge on the right hand side is Stroller and Wheelchair Rentals. They actually have free wheelchairs. You just gotta pay for motorized carts. Alright, got some signage here. Give you some directional arrows, point you the direction of the different exhibits. Alright, so the zoo has digital maps. They are not handing out paper maps. So I will show you the digitalized map. I'll try and show this periodically throughout the zoo, give you an idea of where I'm at. So I'm gonna head over to Flamingo Bay first. All right, we got Chilean flamingos. All enjoying the water. Got some younger flamingos in here too. Those are the ones with the gray. Several ducks in here too. And directly across the room, we got Caribbean flamingo. Do these have a little more of a pinkish color than their cousins right across the way? But they're both equally chatty. Several duck species are here. Got some flamingo facts. All right, right past the flamingos, you got the Yellow Rose Express Safari Train Depot. One-way tickets are four dollars. This is the train. Now, I was told this is basically for transportation. You don't see any animals along the way. Right past the train depot, you have the Crocodile Cafe and restroom location. Way too early for food. So I will check this place out inside and show you the menu board. All right, so Crocodile Cafe is open. I'm gonna go inside and at least get a drink. We got available at the ice cream shop. What? The menu board for Burger Shack. And Jungle Grill is currently closed. The zoo does have some ongoing construction updates. This new section will be opening in 2023. So some of the animals that they have are currently off habitat, such as the Malayan tiger and lions. It's also going to introduce some new animal species. Right, so just so you know, there are painted dogs, cloud leopards, lions, tigers, hyenas, and cheetahs are currently unavailable. So I cannot show you any of these critters. A part of the new construction area, Elephant Springs is now open. Additional arrows marking the locations of the different areas. Got Western Lowland Gorilla. This is the gorilla's habitat. Does not appear they are out just yet. The zoo just opened. 
So I will come back a little bit later. So I take that back, they are out. This didn't go down far enough. Seems to be relaxing on the rock. Another one back by the waterfall. I'm still going to come back to this area a little bit later. And perhaps to be a little bit more active. There's our bonobo. These are closely related to chimpanzees. Eastern Bongo and West African Crowned Crane. These guys got a really, really nice habitat. All right, here we go. Munching on some grass, looks like. So I do not currently see the West African Crown Crane, so I will check back later on my rewalk. We got White Cheek Gibbon. So looks like the gibbons are not quite out yet. Again, it's very early. Zoo just opened not that long ago, so I will check back. All right, gonna go inside the World of Primates building. Oh no, this is fantastic. There he has lots of different little birdies. Another one of the Western Woodland Gorillas. Got the birds that are in this area. Trying to see the birds is the trick. I see one of them. There's another little birdie right up above it. Found another bird at the feeder. Got this really cool looking bird. The Eastern black and white Columbus. Got long fur. Another one off to the side here. Got a Sumatran orangutan. This is their indoor habitat. So it looks like they are all outside. All right, so one of the Sumatran orangutan is inside. This is the outdoor habitat for the Sumatran orangutan. See the dome right there is where we were, or the pyramid. There we are. There is another one that's outside. It's their choice whether they want to be inside or outside. Uh, we got Mandrel. Absolutely love these guys. Look at that. So fantastic. There's that little one right below him. Just fantastic coloration. These guys got huge teeth also. 
came back to the white sheet gibbon. And they are out now. And the top munching away, eating something. All right, African Savannah, giraffe, hippo, and rhino. Yes, please. All right, here we go, Africa Savannah. Got the Savannah Grill, not open right now. Love the design of this place. Got a small trading post. This is a restroom location. Here we got giraffes. We got conservation in the field. Is there ever going to see some springbok? Finally found the springbok. Been looking all over. These little animals blend in so well. Don't need a lawnmower in this place when you got these guys around. Alright, we got reticulated giraffe. We got a better view of the reticulated giraffe for you. Now, they do have giraffe feeding here. Six dollars per bundle. Some ostrich. Here's our ostrich. These are female. You can tell by their brown feathers. Whereas the males have the black and white feathers. They gotta be more flashy to attract the ladies. They're busy in ground hornbill. There's the ground hornbill. Got a helmet the guinea fowl. See the guinea fowl. It's up in this area here. There we got Cape Vulture. There is the vulture. There's two vultures. The guinea fowl is just to the right of them. This whole area has lots of trees and benches to sit in the shade. Oh, this is awesome. Rhino with its calf. Or baby. I think they're called calves. I'm not really sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, I often am. We've got black rhinoceros. Here we got a black rhinoceros. Eating some grass and enjoying the shade. But the black rhinoceros has plenty of room. And these are beautiful animals. Uh, fortunately, poachers kill these magnificent animals for their horns. And the stupid part about that is their horns are made the same thing as our hair and fingernails are. Got a pink back pelican. Well, pelicans are just enjoying themselves. Enjoying the, the sun. And you got water there to be in. And there's two more up there in the grass. Got a better view of the giraffe. Got a nice waterfall. There's a couple more pelicans I didn't see from the vantage point I was at. Yeah, hippopotamus. And inside with the hippopotamus we got African cichlids. All these different color variations are all cichlids. They just come in lots of different variations. Oh yeah. Some above. Trying to find the hippopotamus. Doesn't appear that they're in the water right now. So I will check back a little bit later. Hopefully get a nice view of the hippopotamus in the water.
or up on land. This is another black rhinoceros. All right, we got meerkat. This one looks like it's the lookout. It's the only one that is out right now. A duck? Jump? Making sure it's safe for everybody. See, now he's going on a little log. All right, so here is the map I found. Later, let me show you. This is at the gift shop. Since they are not currently giving out paper maps. So here's where we are right here. This big area that we showed you earlier at the fence, it's all under construction. So we walked all the way around here and we did this. So I'm going to head back this way and we're going to see all of this. Alright, we got Elephant Springs. The Elephant Springs Habitat mini map. Oh, we got Asian Elephant. We got an elephant coming out. We're gonna have a presentation here. Christine is using um, biscuits. These biscuits are made for exotic animals, and our elephants particularly like the ones that smell and taste like oranges. <laughs> so each elephant gets um, multiple training sessions a day, but all of them get at least one bath in the morning every day. As you can tell, Colonel kind of has some mud and some dirt and sand, and uh, so we okay, want him. So we ask him to do this behavior for flexibility and also allow us to reach the top of his back and hose off all that hair. So the is just kind of like a morning check over throughout the night. Um, we hose off all of the stuff off of his body to make sure that there aren't any few cuts or bruises or anything. All of the behaviors that we have to train the elephants are for high control or not. Well, this is nice. The elephants have all this water to go in. You can go underneath the waterfall if you choose to. Wow, right, just the whole design of this place is just phenomenal. We saw the one bull elephant getting a bath. Another elephant here. There's a resting location right here also, both men's and women's. Still ambience of this area is so nice. Straight up we got a greater one-horned rhinoceros. 
It's got lots of mud. You see he's got mud all over his lower torso. And here's some of the construction equipment. Just on the left. Working on additional new habitat. This is all new area. This is the truth about rhinos. We do that. I right, just got the truth about rhinos. There we go. This guy looks like he's got plate armor on. We're going to be checking out the Museum of Living Art, Reptiles, Amphibians, and more. Or Mola. And you see some garl. These things are huge. Got this cool turtle. And lots of fish. Yes, these garls have so much space to be in all the water. But they are huge. Alright, so crocodile monitor sadly off habitat. This is this guy's habitat. Several snakes here. Open the door for mommy, Bubba. Alright, we so we're gonna see an Amazon tree boa, smoky jungle fog. And gold fossilian poison dart frog. And you see all of the little froggies. Little froggies. Little froggy. Looking all around. For the tree boa. That's a Burmese python. Snake. 
Attila Island spiny iguana. This guy's got a very nice habitat. And our iguana is right up here. Hanging out on the branch. Watching everybody. Oh, these guys eyes closed. They're taking a nap. And a West African green mamba. And I see the tail on this side. And the rest of the snakey. On the back. Got a Madagascan tree boa. This guy didn't get the memo because he's not up in the tree. It's a Vietnamese leaf nose snake. Savannah 
side neck turtles. This Paco is huge. Better view the silver arowana. And of course, we got all the silver dollar fish in here. This flooded forest tank. Got some West African dwarf crocodile. Turbentus. Congo tetra. Lake Victorian cichlid. African butter catfish. Lake Malawi cichlid. And Nile soft shell turtle. This is another fantastic habitat.
there's two of them in here. One of them's up here on the top. The other one is down on the ground in the back. We've got a Waggler's Viper. Another very lush, tropical looking habitat. This snake is up here in the tree. Information about amphibians.
breathe animals. Got a nice turtle. A couple of the fish right here. I looked all over and I can't seem to find a spotted eel. We got this another gorgeous habitat. Alright, more to tropical trails. We got a louche. The card snake neck turtle, Hainan three stripe box turtle, Chinese algae eater, Philippine cell fin dragon, white clouded mountain minnow, and a barbs. Uh, the Philippine cell fin dragon. Another lizard on the other side. A little bitty fish in here. Box turtle. We got a forester's tortoise. Got a spiny tailed lizard. That's very. Got to see his spines. Got a shield tailed agama. Very nice habitat. And he's right here on top of the rocks. A European long nosed viper. Very nicely decorated. Right, we got a wama python. On the bottom. And a frilled lizard. Got a nice looking habitat also. Got a San Esteban Chakwala. So the Chakwalas have a really good sized habitat. See one here on the bottom. There's rocks to climb on. As you can see the one up on the top. Another one here on the bottom. Alright, got the Lizard King. Komodo Dragon. The Komodo Dragon has a both indoor and outdoor habitat. This is its outdoor habitat. And this is its indoor habitat. And you can see where he's at. It's a decent sized Komodo Dragon. The Eastern Indigo Snake. This is the Eastern Indigo Snake. And we got an Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. This is the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. <laughs> Alright, so this indoor building is huge. I didn't think it was ever going to end. It was just corridor after corridor after corridor with more habitats. I enjoyed every second of it, but huge building. All right, saltwater crocodile. So the garls. This is on the other side. So trying to find them. Oh, that is a saltwater crocodile. Wow. The size of this guy. Underwater view. 